So, guys, welcome back to a new episode. I'm again back on the island of Lachine, as you might see. How much? 28 meters. We're on the top of an underwater mountain. We're fishing with Inchiku as, as the last time when we have been here. It's quite windy. We have the Bura wind. This may be a little too windy. Sure. Maybe I'm fishing a little too light. I guess. Okay, let's change that. As fish kept stealing off the bait from my jig, I decided to change the approach and to switch to Kabura. So a big head, but with small hooks. That's exactly what we need. Exactly this one. So reach the same position as I said already I switched to this Kabura jig or Thai rubber jig whatever it's gliding free so I can even give the fish some slack some line to pull if I have the feeling it didn't take it or yeah I didn't take it fully the advantage of this kind of lure in comparison to the Inchiko is your line is directly connected to your hooks you feel every bite with the Inchiku, your hooks are connected to your sinker meaning your jig and your jig to your line so when they hit the hook they first have to move the the jig which is quite heavy like say 100 grams or whatever so only then you can feel it in your line and this kind of jig usually you're not fishing that aggressive like I use with my Inchikus. I'm just bouncing off the ground trying to get some attraction. fish nothing too big I guess it's a small common Pandora please just no greater weaver <laughs> please I'm afraid it could be I hope for it Pandora first one for this year yes no it's a small red porgy 
Ah, come on, it's not my... F Actually, it is, it is my first red porgy this year. Hello, beautiful. Bye bye. A few moments later. Okay. Nice. It's not fighting that bad. <laughs> not fighting that bad at all. Oh, nice. Good. Better than the first one. See it. What are you? What? What? Whoa! Dude, that's not a bad red porgy at all. Wow. After this nice red porgy, I repeated the drift two more times but didn't catch nothing. So as the wind dropped during that time, I decided to drive around the island of Susak and to search my hotspots for some common Pandora. Well, I switched back again to Inchiko we have 24 meters, we're in the top, it's not an underwater mountain, behind me there's an island, so it's going down, and it's going like, I don't know, a shoe, out. <laughs> I don't know how you call it, um, but left and right, water is dropping, in front of me it's dropping, but I'm like, on the tip of the shoe, so I try just a little bit, 10-20 minutes, let's see, usually that's a very popular fishing this spot, in summer you will always find guys here. Ah, Caney East. Oh, my friend, I'm sorry. Finally.
Yeah. Oh, and we lost it. And we lost it. Felt better. Maybe I snacked it. That's like typical. You think you might, you have something better and then you pull them out and you see that you snack them on the sides. Okay, screw it. Now guys, we are heading back. Time is running, time is running. What a tough, tough day. At the beginning I struggled with the wind, but later on I figured it out. And I could catch the red porgy and the second quite nice red porgy. Later I got some more fish around Susak, but not what I was expecting. However, I still liked it and I hope you liked it as well. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.